If animal testing is a hotly debated topic, human testing is even more so. But sometimes there's just no way around it in order to find out how our brains and bodies work. Is patience really a virtue? Or is it determined by how our brains process information? Is creating a chimera really impossible? Or is it our best chance of medical advancement? We'll answer these questions and many more in 10 human experiments that shocked scientists. And how would you like to be involved in a cutting edge experiment that may send shockwaves through the scientific community? Go ahead and see what happens when you press the subscribe button. Oh, you just subscribed to the hub? Well, maybe it didn't cause any shockwaves, but at least now you won't miss our next video. The Milgram Experiment. We all like to think of ourselves as decent human beings. Most of us aren't out there robbing banks or threatening the commissioner of Gotham City. We may even tell the barista to keep the change during our morning coffee run. So if a guy in a lab coat asked you to electrocute a stranger with a heart condition, you'd probably say no, right? In 1961, Stanley Milgram asked participants to administer a memory game to who they thought was a fellow test subject, but was actually an actor. If the learner answered wrong, the teacher was to administer an electric shock, each more powerful than the last. The learner soon began mentioning a heart condition and screaming in pain before finally falling silent. Milgram's fellow researchers believed that very few participants would continue after the learner fell silent, and they estimated about 4% would reach maximum voltage. Turns out, 65% of the teachers continued to the very end of the experiment. So while we think of ourselves as decent, let's make sure we're conducting ourselves accordingly. Stanford Marshmallow Experiment The Stanford Marshmallow Experiment, besides being a great band name, was intended to learn more about delayed gratification. Children were given one treat and promised a second if they could resist eating the first for a short period of time. Doing absolutely nothing to double your investment is a pretty sweet deal, and unsurprisingly, most of the kids waited for the bigger payout. But the part that shocked scientists came after the study concluded. In follow-up studies, they discovered that the children who had learned to delay gratification proved to be academically superior to the children who ate the first treat. When these participants were in their 40s, and we were assumed being paid in cash instead of candy, their brains showed fundamental differences during willpower tests. People with high self-control showed activity in the prefrontal cortex area of the brain. This is the part of the brain associated with executive functions and choices. The people with lower self-control showed activity in the ventral striatum, which processes desires and rewards. LSD. LSD, or lysergic acid dimethylamide, is a psychedelic drug that has been around since 1918. And although we know it's illegal, until recently we knew shockingly little about how it actually affects the brain. Volunteers, who we can guess were in no short supply, were injected with the drug while their brains were scanned. Normally we see images that are processed through the visual cortex, but under the influence of LSD, images and information were drawn from sections of the brain that normally don't send and receive information to one another, while other regions that usually work together separated, which causes the users to feel a loss of personal identity, but a renewed sense of oneness with the world. Scientists believe that this new information could lead to LSD being used to treat psychiatric disorders, and could ironically be used to treat addiction. So remember kids, drugs are bad, unless they're for science. Human-Pig Hybrids While it may seem like the ravings of a madman or an episode of Black Mirror, scientists are working to create the first human-pig hybrids. Meeting the need for donor organs is a huge issue. Scientists have tried using pig organs, but our immune systems reject the foreign tissue. Then they tried using human stem cells to grow new organs, but struggled with the complexity. Since neither pig parts or human stem cells would work, why not try both at the same time? Such human-animal hybrid creatures were long thought impossible. In fact, such experiments can't even receive public funding. Relying on private donations, the Salk Institute for Biological Studies has shown it's possible to grow human tissue inside of a pig. Human stem cells are introduced into the pig embryo, where it then develops inside of the pig. Next step is growing entire human organs inside of the pig. Ah, uh, pigsley. Stomach Mechanics While some people spend ages setting up experiments, Others just happen to be in the right place at the right time. Alexis St. Martin was in the wrong place at the wrong time when he was accidentally shot in the stomach in 1822. The bullet left a sizable hole in the man's stomach that refused to close. Where most people would see a lost cause, Dr. William Beaumont saw an opportunity. Scientists at the time were in a heated debate over whether digestion was mechanical or chemical. But through his careful experiments on the wound, including tying food to strings and dangling it into the hole, Beaumont was able to prove conclusively that digestion is primarily a chemical process. While the stomach muscles assist, digestion relies primarily on stomach acid. However, the research on whether or not the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach is still inconclusive. The placebo effect. 
The placebo effect is the term for when you experience a decrease in symptoms because you think you've taken medication. It is surprisingly effective, and scientists are constantly shocked by the extreme effects it can have on our bodies. Additionally, scientists were surprised that even the color of the placebo can make a difference in its potency. Blue placebo pills were found to be more effective than pink ones. Some of these differences can even be regional. In the United States, placebo injections have a greater effect than placebo pills, whereas in Europe, the opposite is true. Placebos have been shown to work even when the patient knows they're receiving a placebo. Maybe soon, scientists will start pretending to invent new medicines instead of actually inventing them. Ebola Vaccine Many attempts have been made to create a vaccine for Ebola after its discovery in 1976. They suffered from lack of funds and lack of urgency until an outbreak in 2014. This pushed scientists to accomplish what had never been done before. Due to the outbreak, there was no shortage of people at risk for the disease, and therefore volunteers for the trial. Although it is still waiting official approvals, tests of the vaccines have been so encouraging that an emergency stockpile has already been created. Human Growth Hormones Would you be interested in a miraculous substance that makes you taller and leaner? Well, the good news is that your body already produces this human growth hormone. Growth hormones were used in experiments in the United States and Canada up until 1985. At this point, it was discovered that several children who had received extra doses of it were diagnosed with creutzfeldt jakobs disease, which causes brain tissue to degenerate. Growth hormones were briefly banned, but are once again in use. However, due to the potential for side effects, they are now restricted to treating hormone disorders. And no, not being able to reach the cookies on top of the fridge is not considered a disorder. Perception of time. It sounds like the latest Mario Kart level, but the space race began in 1955 and involved the USSR and the US competing for supremacy in the realm of space flight. Not only were they trying to get people into space as quickly as possible, but NASA was also worried about how people would fare once they arrived. Would they be able to cope with the isolation and confinement of space travel? Scientist Michael Seffrey conducted his own experiment here on Earth by burying himself in a subterranean glacier for two months wanting to heat things up a little after that. He then buried himself in a cavern in Texas for six months. Interestingly enough, Sifri kept a regular sleep cycle and 24-hour days for the first month. After that, he varied randomly from 18 to 52 hours. He reported that two months seemed to be his time limit regarding his sanity, however. He was known to punctuate long periods of boredom with loud singing and dancing, much like the rest of us in self-imposed isolation. Monkey see, baby do. In 1931, Winthrop Kellogg was fascinated by the concept of human children being raised by animals. He hypothesized that if he raised a chimpanzee along with his infant son Donald, the chimp and the baby would progress at roughly the same pace since they would be nurtured similarly. They raised the chimp side by side with their son and the two of them reached milestones at similar times. However, Kellogg was frustrated by the chimp's lack of human vocalization. And although this seems like an experiment done solely on the chimp, it turns out that the real result was from little Donald. The child began imitating the chimp's noises, including her food bark, while failing to learn how to speak a human language. Kellogg decided that his son's vocabulary wasn't worth sacrificing for science, and he ended the experiment. We know that these experiments shocked scientists, but which one did you find the most surprising? Science is making incredible advancements all the time, and The Hub is here to keep you up to date. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. And please, resist the urge to perform your own human experiments in the meantime. Thanks for watching.